Hello dear friends, nowadays there are more and more ads on the internet and browsing your favorite websites becomes less and less pleasant. So some ads may be aggressive or contain unpleasant content as well as redirect you to strange websites without your consent, which is pretty spoil the mood. Uh, but you can fight this by installing an ad blocker. An ad blocker is a piece of software that can be used to block ads, obviously. It is a tool that prohibits ads from being displayed on your devices or prohibits you from being tracked on the internet. And it is designed for all kinds of distractions such as banner ads, pop-ups, YouTube ads and other forms of online advertising. So stay tuned, in the next few minutes I'll show you how to block ads with Adblock, the most famous extension, so you can spend your time online in peace without restrictions. But before I start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click on the bell to get notifications about our new and very interesting videos. So my name is Martin and let's get started. Adblock has been around for over a decade. It is one of the most popular ad blockers in the world, it has a simple but reliable extension for desktop browsers like Google Chrome, Apple Safari, Firefox, Opera and Microsoft Edge. And for mobile browsers like Firefox and Samsung browser for Android and Safari for iOS. Using the extension you can block all ads or block only certain ones and easily customize exactly what you want to block. It's worth noting that according to the manufacturer's official policy, Non-obtrusive ads are not blocked in the order to support websites. Let's install the Adblock extension in Google Chrome and take a closer look at it. To install Adblock you need to complete the following steps. So launch the Google Chrome browser and in the top right corner click the three vertical dots. In the window that pops up click settings and choose the extensions item. Then in the upper left corner click the three horizontal bars and at the very bottom click Open Chrome Web Store. In the Chrome Web Store tab in the very top left corner type Adblock in the search box and press enter. Select this extension and click Add to Chrome. In the window that appears click and add extensions and wait a few seconds for our new extension to load. If you want you can uh, thank the authors financially. To activate the Adblock extension click on the extensions icon in the upper right corner and click on the pin icon. After that, the utility icon will be displayed in the Google Chrome panel, allowing you to launch and disable it at any time. This extension always blocks all pop-ups on all websites. Overview of the extension. After this, the extensions icon appears on the top right, which may show numbers indicating the number of ad elements blocked when you visit sites. Click on the icon of the extension and look. A small window will open that serves both an informative role and the role of the menu. For each individual website, you can set a ban for pop-ups, you can use it to see the number of blocked elements, disable the extension altogether, or add a site to the exception. And if some ads were not automatically blocked, you can do it manually by clicking on hide something on this page. A small window will open, prompting you to select an item to block. Once you select an item, a dialog box will open with a slider and the ability to fine tune it. Also in this window you can add the site to the so-called whitelist if you want the site to be showing ads for some reason. To do this, you need to click more pause options, then a window will appear in which you need to click on exclude, after which the page will reload and the changes will take effect. Now let's have a look at our extensions options. To do this, in the extension window click on the gear icon options, a tab opens where we see five main items. Stats, General, Filter List, Customize and Support. Stats. Adblock stats feature gives users the ability to track their ad blocking actions over time, including ads, trackers and for adblock premium users the number of ads replaced with image swap. Note that the status feature is currently only available for adblock in Chrome, adblock for Edge and Firefox. The first time you use stats, you need to allow Adblock to collect statistics. The statistical information is stored locally and is not passed to Adblock directly. In the statistics panel, we see graphs showing blocks over time and blocks by sire. Using blocks over time, you can see how many ads and trackers have been blocked in the last week, month, year or all time. Using blocks by sire, you can see the sites where Adblock has blocked the most ads and trackers. General, in this item you can configure the general settings for the extension itself. And you should immediately disable the so-called non-obtrusive ads if you want a completely clean surfing. Also there is an item allow adblock to collect anonymous filter list usage data and information about content blocked by filter, which will include filters used, ads blocked, websites visited, browser language, site tags. Note that all such data is anonymous. 
I think the following is clear enough and there is no need to describe each item of general parameters. In the filter lists item, you can both enable additional lists and disable those already enabled. The recommended lists are included automatically. It is worth noting that it's not only the name of the list is given, but also an explanation. But do not get carried away and connect all the lists, it will lead only to increased consumption of resources and slow loading pages and sometimes display them incorrectly. In the customize tab, you can make a manual adjustment to the list. You should listen to the author's warning and edit something only if you're absolutely sure about what you're doing. The support point performs an informational function. As for the premium version, there is not much useful stuff. For $1 per month or $10 per year, you get the availability to choose themes to expand, although there are several free, standard, dark and purple. Replacing ads with images of cats, dogs and nature. You can also synchronize ad block settings across multiple devices. Also, we have a new distraction control feature which gives you the availability to block pop-up newsletters, pop-up videos and other distractions. That's where the premium version of Adblock ends. The free version is enough for the average user. And how do you think? Is it worth paying the premium version for Adblock? Tell us in the comments. Adblock for mobile devices. On mobile devices, this blocker does not go so well. Uh, users of Samsung standard Android browsers can block ads with a special Adblock app available on Google Play. But judging by the reviews, on some smartphones the program works unstable. In addition, developers have made Adblock for iOS which can be connected to block ads on the mobile version of Safari. However, the app has not been updated since 2017. But ad block for smartphone, that's a topic for a separate video. Let's go to testing. We test our ad block extension on the Dell Latitude E7450 laptop. At first, let's see how much RAM the extension consumes. To do this, in our browser, press the key combination Shift plus Escape, and the window task manager Google Chrome opens. Expand to full screen. For convenience, find our extension. As we see right now, the RAM usage is uh, 46.2 MB and on average it's between 41 and 62 MB depending on the number of open tabs in the browser. Let's look at the example of several sites, loading time and the size of loaded content on the page through DevTools. First of all, disable our adblock extension. Let's go to the site that we will test, for example, World BBC News. Press F12, the panel DevTools will open and select the item Network. Go to our site and press Ctrl Shift R. The page will reload. Then again, go to the panel DevTools and see the page loaded in 12.17 seconds. And the downloaded content is 8.3 megabytes. Now let's turn on the extension and check the same parameters. And so we see the time increased to 10.15 seconds and the size of the downloaded content decreased to 5.5 megabytes. We did the same test with Daily Mail, YouTube, Think Mobiles, and we got the following parameters. Daily Mail off ad block. Time 8.8 .8 seconds, size 14.6 megabytes. Daily Mail on ad block. Time 6.72 seconds, size 11.6 megabytes. YouTube off ad block. Time 2.13 seconds, size 12.4 megabytes. YouTube on ad block, time 2.74 seconds, size 12.3 megabytes. Think Mobile's off ad block, time 1.47 seconds, size 1 megabyte. Think Mobile's on ad block, time 1.44 seconds, size 0.73 megabytes. We also did a test for different types of ads. Contextual advertising, analytic services, and air collection services paired the test with flying colors. Only banner advertising has failed. Adblock performed poorly with flash banners, GIF files and static images. But despite the fact that Adblock does not manage to block everything, it passed the test quite well. The pros and cons. As for the pros and cons of Adblock extension, we highlighted the following points. The pros. Free of charge. Convenient and simple interface. All functions are described so even a newbie will understand. A knowledge base. The cons. It consumes a lot of RAM. It doesn't block some items. WebRTC data leaks. Ad blocker detection. If we summarize the ad block extension, the result is mixed. On one hand, it does its job and removes ads, but on the other hand, it takes resources to do its job while rarely speeding up the loading of pages. Ad block is used by tens of millions of users and not only for Chrome. Uh, despite this, we are surprised to encounter problems such as memory overruns, collections of user data, and possible cooperation with advertisers. 
As for Adblock Premium, here you pay more for support than for better functionality. And yet, with all that said, Adblock blocks as effectively and is easy to use and configure. You can also try similar ad blockers such as Adblock Plus, Ublock Origin, AdGuard, Ghostry, Adblocker Ultimate. You can read reviews of these ad blockers on our website thinkmobiles.com, the link in the description, and choose the best one for you. All of them are similar in some ways, some are better than others, but they all have the same goal to block ads. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. We are waiting for your comments, likes, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to not miss our videos because we're trying for you. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.